Hello and welcome to this short video to highlight a new flow I've created for Project Online. This short video will demonstrate escalating a risk item to an issue item with copying certain data from the risk to the issue. On two example test project sites I have for one of my Project Online instances, I've created some test risks, some of which are flagged to be escalated as you can see here on this project site using the escalate new escalate column that I've got and flagged some as yes. And then also on this example site here, I flagged one of the items to yes. There's also another additional column called escalated date that is updated later on when the risks are escalated. Other than that, the risks list are pretty standard in this example. To trigger the escalation, I just click this button here. And that puts a message onto the page to say that the risks have been triggered for escalation. What also happens with that, it also creates an item on a central list that we've got called the Project Risk to Issue Escalation Tracker. Now on this list, we capture various bits of metadata. We've got the project name or site name, the project GUID, escalation date and completed, but yes, no, whether it's been escalated or not, and the project site URL and account of issues and risks escalated. The project name, project GUID, and the project site URL values are populated from the button click from the risks list. Uh, so the button behind the button is just some simple JavaScript code that fires that grabs various bits of data as we can see here on the screen from the associated project site. So firstly, we grab the uh, project GUID from the site's property bank and then put that into a variable. And then we grab the web title and put that into another variable and then also the project site URL and put that into another variable. And then the code will go through using the SharePoint JSON object model and create the list item on our target list, which is the project uh, risk to issue escalation tracker. So if we go back into SharePoint, if we refresh this page, we can probably see by now that the completed would have been set to yes and the count of risks escalated should have updated. So if we have a look here, so yes, completed yes, and in this case, this escalated two. So we go back into this original risks list and just refresh the page. We can see here that these two items that were flagged for escalate now have an escalated date value, so they have completed. So the escalation process to, to escalate the risks is handled by a Microsoft flow. And what the flow will do is copy that risk data that we specify into a new issue item. So we have a look at the issues list on the same project site and just refresh this. We should see that we have two additional items. So we've got risk one, risk three, and then some of the data that we chose to copy that we'll look at when we look at the flow. So we can see that the category value here has actually been copied over and has the discussion from the uh, risk description. So let's take a look at the simple flow that handles this. So on here, the flow is triggered from when an item is created on our project risk to issue escalation tracker list. Then the next action in the flow is the standard SharePoint get items. And we dynamically pass in the project site URL from the trigger action. And here we're querying the risks list but we're filtering for where the escalation is flagged as, as true and where the escalated date is null so that we're only pulling back those risks that require escalation and haven't already been escalated. Then for each of the risks in that array that's returned, we then use this for each loop, uh, passing the values from the previous uh, action. And the first thing we do is we use the standard uh, SharePoint HTTP action to go and create the issue. So again, the site address is passed in from the trigger. So we've got the correct project site URL. And we do a post here to the issues list, passing in the, the headers required, and then the JSON body here. And this is where we take the risk data and create the issue data. So for the issue fields, title, discussion, and category that we can see here is just as examples. We're passing in the title, the description, and the category value from our risk item that's been escalated. 
and that can be extended for whatever fields that you've got on either your risks list or your issues list. Then the next action within the for each loop, we then update that risk item. So again, passing in the correct project site URL, uh, we then do a post and we query the risks list, passing in the ID of the risk item that's been escalated. Again, setting some of the headers that are required for a, a, an update. And here we're doing a, a merge. And then again, the in the body, we've got the JSON to update that risk item. And all we're doing in this case is actually setting the escalated date and just setting that to, to now. Then the final action is to update the tracker item on the central list. So here we connect to the central list and then the only two fields that are actually updated uh, are completed and we set that to yes. And then we also pass in the number of uh, risks that were updated as part of this. And that's it, a simple low no code solution to build a risk to issue escalator for Project Online. Thank you for watching.